Sorry about that. Got it. Well, how about that, folks? What a way to start a show. And a very early start to the show, it has to be said. Um, apologies for anybody who's sort of like, oh, why is it early? Um, well, you know, when we're in a position like this and we're up here and we're set up, it's like, well, why not? <laughs> you know, um, it's a Boeing 747, number one. Number two, it's a retro jet. Number three, it's Boax. So um, it's kind of um, self-explanatory. Just gonna set myself. Now, what I do need to do is just shift this back a little bit. God bless you, blame me a railing, do dip me lurky. Um, yeah, sorry if, uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay, nice bit of corrugated uh, wall there. Aristana's uh, 757 just come into play. And look at that, El Al's uh, Dreamliner. Not their retro jet, but uh, the one with San Fran and uh, Hollywood on the other side. I think it is, or is it Vegas? I think it's Hollywood on the other side. It's quite interesting down there. Emirates uh, 777 freighter. It's Vegas, is it? It's Vegas and, uh, and San Fran. So this is what we're here for, folks. Um, we're here, this is just a special bonus show um, from my good friend Richard, who's flying out on the Jambo Jet Kenya Airways uh, around about uh, one hour's time to Nairobi on a holiday. Do a PTC in a bit, GP, I think. In a slightly different position uh, than we are normally are on the um, on the roof up uh, on the roof of the uh, Hilton Garden Inn, folks. This is where we are, the Hilton Garden Inn. These are the kind of views that you get from the uh, seventh floor, if you're staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, pretty spectacular panoramic views of the southern runway. Um, oh look, just missed that going overhead, that's a shame, whatever that was. Just passed through the clouds. Listen to the distinctive noise of those, um, they might even be... Uh, Pratt and Whitney's on that little lifty uh, 320. So, oh, here we go. Something decent coming out. Yeah. Just had a Dreamliner go out with uh, its gear left down for a considerable amount of time. Big dirty configuration going out for that pilot. Here we go. See that wing flex, folks. Really get a good idea of that wing profile. Not so, not so flexed um, on the ground, as you can see from that one down there. You're not so. It's not such a highly flexed wing when it's on the ground, but it's got that built-in flex. As to be honest with you, does every wing. So here we are on the right-hand side. A good overview of the maintenance area, part of the maintenance area, this is only one segment of the maintenance area at uh, London Heathrow, Boeing 747 down there, see those RB211s? And then just look at the size comparison with the uh, Trent, possibly the Trent 
uh, a GE 90s actually. So that must be one of the early 777s that British Airways took on because I believe not long after um, they uh, started taking delivery of their 200 variants, um, they switched to the Trent 800 engine. I'm not sure how many Trent uh, a GE 90 variants there are. Oh, hold on a second, let me just uh, grab that. What's that? Stand by, stand by, stand by. Let me just put a piece of cotton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long was it up for? How long was it up for? Okay. Let me just take that up because that could pull. I need to make a little. Okay. Two new sign ups. Welcome to the new members. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's just get that. So we shouldn't have a problem with that now. Sorry about that, folks. Um, so good, decent lineup. And we are here. This is just a bonus show um, for our good friend Richard, who's flying out on the Jumbo Jet um, with uh, Kenya Airways. It's a daily service. Usually flies out in the afternoon, comes in in the morning, funny enough. So it looks like an A380 about to depart. We won't go PTC just yet, GP. Need to transfer over to the comms phone. Just a second. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> I've already got it out there. What a silly Billy. Right. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Flipping nuts, in it? Flipping nuts. That's, that's a typical Heathrow shot, that is. Stand by. Uh, go comms now, GP, on the, uh, just go comms, yeah? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. I'll come off of this and I'll give you a shout on the, on the feed to go comms, yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, go comms, GP. I'm ready. Yeah, I've got some heavy stuff coming out right now.
big old 300. Yeah. 380 next to come. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, sorry about that. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, I've got... Uh, Going to come to your comments in a moment, folks. Tomorrow's the big show. Still looking like 09 uh, wins. 09 operations, should I say. This is pretty long. Oh, she's growling, man. Look at the uh, ailerons. Look at them. Okay, very good. Ain't she a beauty, folks? Even uh, even the big wide bodies having to um, hold their station whilst this uh, big beast leaves a big wake behind it. Wake turbulence is what it's called. So still big lineup. Uh, Jambo Jet's still sitting where it's sitting. Another 380, is that Emirates 380 that's coming out? More heavies, there's a 777 300ER. On the roll it is. 777, looks like United, is it? Or is it a 767 perhaps? No, that looks like a 76, is a United. Uh, so United Triple, is it? Oh, okay, I was right first time, right. A little bit difficult to see in the monitor, folks. Sometimes just from a dis from a distance. Two miles away, don't forget, folks. Two miles away when she's uh, lined up for full runway departure. So this is uh, likely to be an old... Uh, mind you, I'm going to keep my mouth shut for now. Could be a 300 with those wingtips. Nope, it's a 200. Either way, she's making a lot of noise. That's an old 200, isn't it? Wow, look at that. You are. Watch the flapper on. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing Captain Sal next time he's in town. Probably get a drink with him, I imagine. That's uh, the Emirati. Okay, just stand by. Let's just uh, do some shouts, some comment. I've got a bit of a pull on this camera for some unknown reason. It's a little bit annoying. It's drift. I've got a bit of drift on it. I have to trim it out. <laughs> okay, okay. B 
the A Dreamliner going up high. BA, did I say? <laughs> Mind you, it would have been nice to have seen them uh, paint one of the uh, their dreamers in BA B livery. Good to see Michael up at the uh, EMA Aero Park earlier on doing a stream to the uh, to the channel, to the um, members channel. Good to see you there, Michael. Thank you for giving uh, more entertainment to our uh, to our viewers, to our family. Turkish Airlines triple seven big three hundred ER coming in there. Now this is Defire 300, isn't it? Qatar. Yeah. Don't often see this. No, it's Q8, sorry. Right, yeah, right. Getting all wrong today, eh? This one came in from Sierra. Should have gotten a spec saver, son. Little bit difficult with the fact that I'm shooting into the sun as well. Um, sort of silhouetted, getting little glimpses of this, that, and the other. God bless you. the old banger just come into town. Dying, sting. Mind you, she's only 13 years old, I think. That DHL 300. Okay, uh, not seeing any comments on Facebook. Why is that? Michael Doherty uh, was the man who was. Yeah, not seeing any comments on Facebook, folks. Uh, my apologies if I'm not reading out your comments. It's a little bit weird, but oh, look, they've opened up that cowl again. Little bit of an on wing inspection going on there with that. Uh, Trent 1000. Now, whether that's one of the uh, refitted engines or um, I think they just ran that up about five minutes ago. This is really, uh, really most, uh, most annoying. I have to say this, this drift that I've got, it's kind of doing my nut. Could be like an oil seal, or uh, could be anything, basically. Half a mind to switch out to the other HDMI. Yeah, no, I'm not getting, uh, not getting. Oh, hold on a minute. Is it, uh, is it main Freeview channel, uh, or is it, is it the main? Is it, is it, the, is it? The main channel's having problems as well, is it? Okay, let's have a little look here. Okay, well, Cafe Pacific 300, got a, uh, what looks like a 380 inbound. On 09 left. There we go, Darren. Um, Darren Graham, good afternoon. Uh, Victor, Matthew, Yvonne, Debbie. Um, it's wonderful from somebody in um, possibly Iraq, I'm not sure. Uh, Mark Whitehouse, good afternoon. Uh, Karen Langley, Victor Keegan. Uh, Daly O'Neill, Ad Fluid, Tim Harvey. Uh, Gary Nutson, uh, BA289, at least three hours late, leaving you today. Oh, was that the um, possibly the BOAC? Um, 747, three hours late. I don't know if that was due to a technical issue or what. I may need to go to Phoenix Sky Harbor International uh, Airport tonight to watch the Queen arrive, Gary Nutson saying. Wow, that would be cool if you could get that, my friend. Um, Frank Sock, good day. Paul Corson, DHL 320, uh, 320. 
25 and a half years old, ex-Japan friends out of Air Florida Airlines. Wow. So she's not an, a, a young bird then. She is an old girl, that DHL 300. Wow. That is old. Etihad's Dreamliner. Um, that's still their 900. I don't think they bring their... Uh, well, I don't know, that might be their uh, 1,000. Is that their one, 1K? Very difficult to sort of like, um, unless I've got flight radar open. I don't know if anybody can um, elaborate on that, whether that is uh, Etihad's 1,000 uh, Dreamliner that's just arrived. No? It's a 900, right, OK. They are quite distinctively longer. Um, obviously, uh, but sometimes for a little um, monitor like mine, difficult to see. Uh, Debbie Hopkins, good afternoon. Uh, Naya Kundi, uh, Duncan, good day. Uh, from Kenya. Well, there you go. Um, uh, who is that? Nkundi. Nkundi, uh, good day. This is the reason why we're here today, my friend. There's your, uh, there's your um, Kenya Airways, uh, the Jambo Jet. Uh, and Jambo to you, my friend. Um, our our um, very good friend Richard, my good friend Richard, is uh, departing tonight, headed to Nairobi on that very Dreamliner. Uh, should be uh, in around about 40 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit less. That is Concord, B-O-A-B, Bravo, Oscar, Alpha, Bravo. Um, retired and sitting there as the... Oh, that was the... Um, if we just wait for that to come round to kill, you'll see the Korean Airlines uh, A380. She may roll out um, to the end of the runway. I'm not sure. Obviously got the um, maintenance shed for Virgin Atlantic in the way there. Interesting to note the other day when I did see uh, the shed, um, looking at the height of that, was that built, that extension on the roof there, built um, in anticipation of the... Um, the Virgin Atlantic 380 uh, fleet that never materialized. Question mark. Thought we were gonna go for a dirty config then. Hazy conditions. Don't forget, folks, if you're a channel member with Big Jet TV, you are entitled to 20% discount at current room rates uh, at the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, if you're a channel member. Uh, you can... Where do I get the... Um, where do I get the code from, Jilly? For the discount. It's on your perks on YouTube, folks. Oh, 
Oh no, you're joking, man. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Sorry, folks, sorry. How long was that for? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me just uh, let me just do a really, really tough fix here. Um, sorry, folks. Audio and video, huh? I can't be right. That's that's not linked. I don't understand that. Okay, all right. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, hold on a second folks. This is now, now affecting a proper light repair where... Oh, sorry guys. Sorry folks, sorry folks, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's Koreans 380 going over there. We all good, we all good. Kumar, good afternoon. Ayu um, Yeb, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, Paul Corson, um, five seconds from New Zealand. Uh, what's that all about? Paul, good afternoon from New Zealand. Stevie Wilkinson, uh, Ben Doddington, Vinnie Jones, uh, Sam Jennings. Good afternoon, Sam, our man over there. Uh, Airside at London Heathrow. Great page to follow, folks, if you're, uh, if you're on Facebook. Uh, follow Sam Jennings. Got some great photography um, on his page. Okay, here we go. Emirates A380. Uh, Stevie Wilkinson, Ali Musa, tuning in from Malaysia. Good afternoon. Um, right, let's pop over now to YouTube. How are you folks doing over there? Let's just... Uh, got a little uh, intersect. Look how tiny that little Dash 8 Q4 is. Okay, I've got Kathy Marshall as a new member. Kathy must have come back. Yusuf 420, Simon Webb, Ben Gray, Robert 131046. Good afternoon to you guys, uh, wherever you are tuning in. Um, Sunny Aviation, Gil. Well, good, we unfortunately uh, from Toronto in Canada. Okay, so morning time over there in uh, in Canada, I believe. Uh, Simon Webb, Kathy Stone, Simon Webb, Claire Webster. Uh, sorry, Claire West. Simon Webb, new member. Good afternoon. Um, Caroline Blair, Divi. Uh, Laura Lee Drew, great show. Uh, Laura Lee, never haven't seen Laura Lee's uh, name mentioned before, so good day to you. Luke Dose Stuff. Uh, wow, look, lots of new names here. The artist, he's not new. Uh, he's a regular on Big Jet TV. Michael K, Gary Hughes, Miles High, tuning in from Nova Scotia. Divi, uh, 236623. Tommy Ernst, good afternoon. Uh, Ian's in the house. Um, Jean Ballet, uh, Jade Bear, that is. Phil Lomas, Paul, Paul Storer, KW Green, uh, Debbie Speller, Matty Brown. Uh, some smashing views from this position. Indeed, there are. Look at that double shot of an A380 in the shot there. Look, Concord, 380 and 380. Simon Webb, Sh Kiaran M, that dash 8 is tiny. Indeed, it is. Right, here we go. Emirates, 380 outbound. I guess I should do, really.
What's interesting about the A380 is it it has uh, it has split ailerons. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm I'm, I'm right in uh, in in, in uh, saying that, but the uh, it's like a set of keyboards. If you look at the uh, very end of the wing, where normally uh, like on the 350, for example, you'll have the big aileron, which is uh, you can see it. Uh, right there on the end of the wing of the A350, British Airways beautiful A350. Um, the A380 uh, has sort of like um, split ailerons, which sort of like when the, when especially in windy conditions when she's arriving, they sort of like um, they flap. Try and give you a little idea of that. Uh, hopefully, if we get um, one of the 380s going out. Um, to the west because uh, that's when we need her in a big turning circle but at the moment nothing um... Kelvin Jones good afternoon great viewing area on my big TV here in Clapham well good afternoon to you there um, watching in Clapham Pedro over there watching on the Italian. Shut up at your Facebook. Oh, look at that. Qatar's... Uh... Yeah. Victor Tilson. So good. Want to jump on my team. Wow. Loving it. Well, that's good to know. Um, a big shout out. Of course, Dokes, don't forget, this is all uh, thanks to the Hilton Garden Inn at London Heathrow. Um, this is right by Hatton Cross um, and uh, wonderful views here. So um, don't thank me. Um, thank the crew at the Hilton Garden Inn. And uh, it's the um, manager of the Hilton Garden Inn who's off on a well-deserved holiday with the missus. Uh, down to Nairobi uh, on the Jambo jet, flying out on Kenya Airways Dreamliner um, and uh, about to depart. We have had a tweet from him. Hopefully he's on the left side. Jilly, did we find out whether he's on the left side or not? This is KLM 737, probably heading out to uh, Schiphol, Amsterdam. Hope everybody's enjoying their bank holiday weekend here in the UK. Uh, great results from MotoGP. If you didn't, if you, I don't want to be a spoiler on that because I know how annoying it is. But uh, I was very happy with the result. Um, uh, being as you know, uh, I'm a big fan of number 46, Ian Austin. Uh, never disappoints in uh, absolutely with Heathrow, Simon Webb, uh, Sal Ingledew. Sal Ingledew, good afternoon. That's me at 3 p.m. Um, Luke Dose Stuff, good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, Wayne Gill, Gareth Mitchell, Ian Austin, uh, Simon Webb. S so many people, Sunny Aviation, Elaine Bird, um, Big Jet TV and Fish and Chips. Trey's in the house, wow, do you know what? I was wondering where Trey was the other day and that is fantastic to see uh, Trey in the house. Welcome Trey, uh, Trey is 737 pilot with Southwest folks all the way out there in the US of uh, So um, great to see you in the house, Trey. Ian Robbins, good afternoon. Chris Rankin, Paul Corson. Okay, who's that? Um, someone's watching from their horse hospital bed. Rodney. 
Rodney watching from hospital from hospital Rob Rodney Davis watching from his hospital bed. I think this is Cafe Pacific's uh, triple seven coming out now. Um, uh, watching from his hospital bed after surgery. Wow, a little bit of um, cross wing deflection there. All the best, uh, Rodney. Got another retro jet pushing back, folks. Over North London at this point. Yes, here he goes. Good friend of ours, Phil, is a pilot with Cafe. Regularly tweets as well and uh, uh, runs pictures on Facebook. So look out for him. You watching, Phil? Good day, mate. Big set of G night is on that uh, 777 300. Just going through a uh, livery change at the moment as well the um, triple seven fleet and I'd imagine uh, in time uh, of course don't forget we do get their uh, Boeing 747 freighter into London Heathrow as well with Cafe Pacific Emirates triple seven freighter Remember the days when we used to see their 747 coming into London Heathrow as a freighter. I think they may well have retired all of those 747s now. She'll, she won't turn at all. She'll head in that direction. Don't forget, folks, we're out in Dublin next month. And, of course, um, we're planning the next um, trip out to Toulouse as well. As well as other trips, we've got October, we've got uh, Los Angeles, that's going to be channel members only, as well as all the other channel member shows as well. Tomorrow we'll be back to channel member only show with a 20 minutes free view. We see so many of those triples in the uh, Qatar's beautiful A350. Is that uh... now? Look, that's quite interesting that you can see there. Those engines are not on fire, folks. That is just the uh, oil overspill from the engines. Um, when the engines are at idle or lower, uh, the oil seal, the oil seals uh, actually open ever so slightly something that expands when the engines are at full power so um, nothing to alarm yourselves about it's a pretty standard procedure with those uh, XWB Rolls-Royce engines here we go Just keep coming and coming. Easy, son. Another one rolls. Wow, it's just non stop here at London Heathrow. Ian Bailey, Rafael Cora from Puerto Rico. Good afternoon.
Turkish Airlines uh, 777-300 ER headed out to the new Ataturk Airport. I think, uh, I don't know if it's still called Ataturk, is that right? No, okay. Be interesting to see what that new, what the old Ataturk Airport is like now. Is, is she just uh, redundant or are they keeping it running for, uh, see that the, uh, the overspill will stop because of the uh, engines being powered up ever so slightly. And now as she, uh, as she slows down and the engines run to idle, the overspill will kick back in, as you can see there. Perfectly normal. Patrick tuning in from Trinidad. Good afternoon to you. Johnny Webb, London Calling. This is London Calling. Broadsword Calling Danny Boy. Broadsword Calling Danny Boy. Juwait, uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, there again, Patrick tuning in from Trinidad. Um, Virgil. A380s and trip sends a huge aircraft and sure do enjoy watching all these beasts take flight, plus all the others too. Well, good for you, my friend. Uh, Virgil, great to bring that to you and great to have the enthusiasm. And of course, there's the, uh, there's the engines that power these, or one of the engines. Now that is uh, Trent 1000, looking like they've got a little bit of an on-wing issue there. So bloody annoying, is it? Definitely is that lead, mate. No doubt about it, it is that lead. No, it's just, it's me. It's, it's sorry, sorry, I'm talking about something different. I'm not talking about the, yeah, but that lead is, that lead's got to go, it's got to go, because it's, uh, it's caused me enough issues as it is. So that's Terminal 4 over there, folks. Terminal 4. Johnny Webb, Wandsworth's watching. Good afternoon, Wandsworth. Jason Bedford, uh, Rodney Davis. I do, I live not love. Sorry for the typing mistake. Oh, okay. Um, I, I, what, did he, what does he live? Live for planes by any chance? Uh, nothing wrong with that, my old son. Continuing ongoing debacle issue with uh, Trent 1000s there, causing um, more issues for, of course, Virgin Atlantic. Uh, quite a regular sight to see um, low um, low bed transports going up to um, up to Rolls Royce in Derby um, and other uh, shops as well across the country. Uh, but you do see these uh, on the low loaders, these Trent 1000s being shipped up. Um, okay, is that another 747? Is that is that Landor or Negus or something? Krishna Limbu tuning in from Nepal, Nepal, sorry. Good afternoon, Nepal. What's that, Jilly? Repeat. Oh, wow, really? Carl Burton, hello from Myrtle Avenue. Let's see if we can get Carl. Carl, come out onto the grass and give us a wave, my old son. Let's see if we can catch Carl. Run out, fella. Let's see if you're there. <laughs> Anyone watching from Myrtle Avenue, don't obviously be very responsible and don't hurt yourselves. Don't run into the traffic. Um, but just down there is the very famous Myrtle Avenue. If you're not uh, familiar with Big Jet TV, you'll see that we also... Um, film from over there in the paddock that's our other position there um let's see if he runs out we have had people do it before jay dooley was down there with his mates one time uh tony strickland um it's a good job you didn't do a typo on that one tony back soon just taking uh taking the dog i'd imagine for a quick walk um you don't want to be doing a typo on that one um <laughs> <laughs> Just go for a quick walk. Uh. I 
What's that, GP? Hearing in the news, folks, that... Uh... What's that? Danny. New member on YouTube. Banny, good afternoon to you. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not getting those uh, notifications at the moment. Beers, cricket, and Big Jet TV. Love it. Uh, that coming from Nathaniel. Carl Burnton uh, is here. Jonathan Klukas. Birmingham flight path here. Um, why is every plane a jet too? Yes, indeed. Um, Okay, yeah, 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 on which is, yeah. All right, okay, good afternoon um, to our friend, the pilot. Um, that's about as much as we can say. Of course, we do have many, many other friends uh, who are pilots, members on the channel. Uh, good afternoon to all our flight crew um, who have grown and grown over the months. Um, it must be a fantastic thing, I have to say, as a pilot, to see yourself land as uh, as our good friend Sal, who's a skipper with uh, United. Um, there's a uh, BA380 by the looks of it on pushback, uh, ready to go out. Um, yeah, Sal, who uh, we posted his video uh, the other day, which was fantastic, has to be said. We're gonna be going right into the sun now, uh, well, almost, and so it's gonna be very sort of like silhouetted, the images um, as they take off, if, especially if they go out high. So he's got the, f he's got both cows open there. Quite interesting. Here we go. Hold on to your hatch, boys. Dreamliner. Look at that wing start to flex up at maximum. There it is. Positive right. Yeah, like I say, it must be fantastic experience for pilots to watch themselves either in command or taking off out or landing or whatever. And if you are a pilot, uh, please um, please don't hesitate to uh, let us know if you're going to be in command of an aircraft or uh, landing, flying out, or uh, whatever you might be doing. Let us know and we'll try and capture it for you. Special occasions like today are always uh, a pleasure. First 3.30 of the afternoon that we've caught. Big on the carriage, man. Sure, if that's CF6 or uh, say it right or Pratt and Whitney's. Another one. Non-stop at London Heathrow. Uh, Johnny Webb, thank you.
Hawaiian Airlines, triple seven. She'll hit you east. Is he? Oh, Negus, here we go. Retro jet number two, folks. Had the BOAC 747 at the start of the show. And this is uh, Negus. It's a hot run. Go on, son, keep it going. giving us details on that BA275. Thank you, Gary. Always appreciate your input, folks. Make sure if you're, don't be shy, come in and say hello. Always welcome people's comments, uh, information, as much information as you can feed me. Um, and of course, all the other people as well. Always educational for the kids as well. So that's what we're waiting for over there, guys and girls. The Jambo Jet. Yvonne Heelan, uh, Jay Want, uh, Jackie Logan, uh, Cameron, Pomar, good afternoon. Rodney Davis, uh, all hail the Queen, Yvonne. Matt Hallows, good afternoon to you. Um, Sal Ingledew in the house. Okay, just to give you a little um, sort of like panoramic um, tour of uh, London Heathrow here, uh, just over there. Just give me a shout out on the um, on the screen, Jilly. Make sure I've got no, uh, I've got no. Um... Yeah, we're all right. Okay, so that's the continuation of the uh, uh, BA sheds over there, folks. Um, as you can see, this is the Hilton Garden Inn right here. Um, more British Airways uh, maintenance section, that's one of their car parks. More British Airways, more British Airways. Um, of course, this is their uh, hub here in the UK. Uh, so understandably, um, absolutely rammed to the, uh, to the gunnels with uh, British Airways maintenance. Um, just behind there, that shed there is Virgin Atlantic. Uh, got British Airways um, aircraft all lined up for um, Either minor repairs, generally minor on wings or uh, or internally, just maybe just a small electrical fault or something like that. Um, something pretty major going on down there with that Dreamliner. Um, and of course that is runway 27 right, 09 left for arrivals. Always the same runway usage on 09s, folks. Um, so you will always find your... Um, arrivals on the left-hand runway as you're seeing there um, 
and the departures on the right hand runway as you're seeing currently over here. Of course as we look down through there, they're the terminal buildings right up to terminal 2, 1 and 3 and 5 in the distance there, uh, right in the distance in fact you can hardly see it. Um, these are the old British Airways BEA hangars, uh, British Air BEA maintenance uh, hangars that were used way, way long ago. So one of the oldest uh, uh, buildings here at London Heathrow, as is that building down there, as you can see, um, you can imagine the old VC-10s and 707s being parked up inside those hangars. In fact, I seem to recall uh, one of the Concorde um, uh, promotions being done in those hangars as well. Terminal 4 over there in the distance. Now here comes Qatar's 380 on its way out. So um, that's, uh, that's something to be um, to behold when we see it go out and of course yes that is Concorde that is B-O-A-B um, that's off stand parking over there where sometimes aircraft are just parked uh, during the day uh, whilst they wait for their uh, return flight um, some aircraft being parked over on remote either waiting for a, ref uh, a flight or of course um, possible maintenance as well uh, um, of course, Virgin Atlantic do have maintenance. And there's your full set, folks. We've seen them today. BOAC, we've just seen um, Negus, and there is Landor going up for maintenance at uh, the sheds here at London Heathrow. Just keep an eye out for her, make sure we uh, don't miss her. She might get parked up somewhere in this area here. More than likely, she'll head through that gap there, um, past that Virgin Dreamliner, and up through behind there, where she'll be parked, but we'll keep an eye on her just in case. Saudi Arabian Airlines uh, 777 uh, just landed and on her way out. Now that Qatar 380, too, too big to taxi down Sierra. They're the maintenance, uh, sorry, they're the uh, cargo sheds uh, out the back down there, folks. It's where all the cargo aircraft uh, usually park up. Interestingly enough, we were due to see an ABC 747 going out of London Heathrow um, later on, but uh, Interestingly enough, she's not even in town at the moment. So, uh, so that is um, a taxiway Sierra that runs down there. As you can see, there's a couple of aircraft taxiing down Sierra. Now, if you're a regular at Heathrow, you'll know that the Esso garage and the roadside verge down there is somewhere really good to go and watch. A um, little bit tricky if you're uh, if you're in a vehicle because obviously. Um, you know, uh, limited parking available at the garage, at the garage, and you don't want to be sort of like upsetting people down there. So if you can make your way down there on foot, perhaps you can walk all the way down past the perimeter track, uh, all the way down there. You can literally walk all the way round Heathrow if you've got the time and the um, inclination to do it. So um, that 380, that Qatar 380, she will cross the active. Um, runway at some point in the near future when she's given clearance. Plans. Luke does stuff. 16 years. Thank you, uh, Michael K. Monty Stewart. Have seen land or in Vegas. Wow. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I can just about see her engines um, or her outboard engine. Just caught a glimpse of her there. That's her um, port wing, and so we're hoping to see maybe land um, land or may uh, unless he turns left. Uh, Tommy Ernst, Black Nose uh, PIA, just about to depart. Thanks, mate. I think that will probably be um, from that section down. That's maybe is that maybe her down there. Or uh, is she down there? Let's just have a look. There she is there. So there's your black nose. Um, it's interesting to see that little black nose, the little black dot, the little black dot. There's Landor. The look of love. Me, I go from one extreme to another. <laughs> that's the look. That's the look.
Like London buses, these things. Big droopy undercarriage. comes Bob. Oh no, are you serious? So this PIA 777 that's about to depart the, the the photo that is on on t uh, flight radar 24 is his is Tommy Ernst photo folks how about that now there's no one on big jet tv yet and i'm sure there are people who have claimed that so how about that tommy ernst me old sad nice job that goes to show the worth of taking pictures of uh, aircraft And it's black dot as well, no, it's black nose, yeah? This is Tommy's jet. Still okay on the feed, still okay on the feed, yeah? Just confirm the feed's okay? Yeah, just, I just got a pull, I just got a tug, that was all. <laughs> Qatar 380, now crossing the active, folks. Big old set of gulpers on this old thing, look at that. Hey, wait a minute, this is the 339 Air Mauritius, A330 Neo, there we go. Air Mauritius, Air 330. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, wow, that's a good rare aircraft to see out of Heathrow, folks. The only A339 operating out of, uh, that's the A330 Neo, folks. Uh, the only one operating out of London Heathrow at the moment. Uh, running the new revised Trent 7000 engines. Uh, brand new wing on her as well. All carbon um, wing tip. Of course, NEO standing for new engine option. Current engine option is the other version. Beautiful aircraft, man. Very nice indeedy. Okay, we have um, the, uh, while we were away from that, Qatar has got itself over the active, got a A380. Wow, look at that. Let's just see if I can grab that. What's that turning in on the back of the stack for zero 09? Is that a big jet coming in, man? Come on, Sam. That's a 350. Yeah. Just turning in over Windsor right now. Wow, look at that shot. Look at that. There's your 320.
380 is just about a touch. Hello. Is that a little wet lease or is that, uh, oh, is that Qatar, is it? Or is that, no, no, Malta Dock, Air Malta. Wow. Is that a little wet lease or something? Wow, big load of smoke from that 380, look. Bloody hell, man, that was one heavy touchdown. Now, tomorrow, guys, uh, if we're over at the Renaissance, we're going to see these things coming screaming towards us. Wow, that's a lot of Dunlop torn up there. Hey, hey! Double bubble 380s right there, folks. Michael K, Matty Brown, Asiana 350. That is the Asiana 350. Thanks for that, uh, Matty. Gavin Wilkes, uh, Dibby, Caroline Blair. Uh, Gavin Wilkes giving a shout out for the 339. Thanks, mate. Um, always great to see those aircraft. Keith Cornell, um, Simon Webb. Off to Malta in um, 14 days. Shane Ward, thank you. Don Moody. There's a 747 joining the back of the queue. 409 departures so uh, some big heavy stuff to come Simon Webb, Caroline Blair, Tommy H I just received an email from BA that my flight which was cancelled is again scheduled interesting is that the um, is that the retro uh, flights by any chance Luke does stuff um, no I'm not going to Manchester tomorrow Luke we are going to be uh, over the other side Four zero nine arrivals. Congratulations, uh, Keith Cornell, on the biopsy. Well done, my friend. Always good to hear. Facebook, shout it, shout it, Facebook. Taking your comments right now. I wonder if we can grab uh, either of those ones that are coming out um, from the west. Either of those guys. Yeah. United Smokey going out. Dave Majestic, Chris Hyde and Edgar Ruberson. Uh, Rebusin, uh, Rebusin, Rebusin, my apologies. Foy Woodland, good afternoon, Foy, hope you're well. Uh, Cameron Munir, uh, Jackie Logan, Jay Want uh, is loving it, Yvonne Heelan. As is everybody loving uh, these big jets right now. Welcome to Big Jet TV. Live twice a week, folks, Wednesdays and at the weekends. Um, weekend schedule. Is that a weekend schedule uh, can either be a Saturday or a Sunday. And of course, don't forget all our um, scheduled um, members only shows. Now, don't forget that Dublin this month, uh, next month, sorry, is going to be on a Saturday. Um, just for the for the uh, uh, for the benefit of our channel members who don't get to watch on a weekday. Uh, we're going to be doing that on the Saturday. Asiana's 350 still in reversa. Yeah, a lot of people giving us great feedback um, last time we were on that position, over on that position for 09 arrivals. So we're going to give that another try tomorrow, just so long as the wind uh, favours that direction. If it doesn't, then we'll go to 27.
nice. I split ailerons. switch back quick because I thought I might have a uh... oh, that's a pretty cool shot are you getting that are you getting that um... ice that's ice ice baby doo -doo 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 -doo. that's uh, ice in the uh... insert clouds like jambo jet is still stationary at game Asiana uh, finding a perfect position uh, as he taxis to gate. Cindy Bryant, uh, Cindy Bryant calling out birds. Yes, indeed. A uh, bit of a hot peculiar news in there. Um, obviously, uh, the birds are at this end. However, yesterday I did see a swan um, flying across the active uh, when they were two seven left departures. Always very frightening because he actually turned and started flying up the active runway towards uh, the departing aircraft. Um, but fortunately, I think he was all right because there's a lot of canals. Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of water dikes around um, London Heathrow. There's actually a, a, a sort of like a dike that, that, that circles um, the airfield. Well, not actually circles it, but um, there's a good part of it that is um, that is circled by water and of course you've got all the um, you've got all the um, reservoirs that are scattered around London Heathrow as well so obviously a lot of wildlife um, pond bird life pond life a bit like Clive got Watson pond life Actually, I think that's uh, that's too that's that's too nice to say, isn't it? Korean these days always seems to be um, A380s. Uh, Koreans A380 followed by their uh, triple seven, which is quite interesting. I remember a long time ago, whether it was a myth or not, whether it's an old wives' tale, um, that originally when the uh, Qantas uh, 380 started operations into London Heathrow, they would follow behind it with a 747 to carry the baggage. Uh, because uh, the 380 doesn't have a tremendous, a tremendous amount of room for baggage. But obviously, if it's um, whether they change the configuration uh, to suit those flights, I'm not sure. Good morning, Mark Smith. Um, working nights, so just out of bed. Well, Mark, good afternoon, and I uh, hope you had a good sleep. We will watch a rerun of this when I'm there. Looks like another top show. Thanks, mate. Uh, of course, we will be live tomorrow afternoon as well. Looks like they um, offloaded whatever they had on that DHL um, 300, and um, they are turning her around. Beautiful a Swiss A220 uh, in from Zurich, no doubt. Helvetic, of course, running uh, the 220s as well. Seven forty-seven on the roll, folks. Richard Bushell tuning in from Charlotte, North Carolina, not New Kansas. <laughs> okay, watch these wings pick up on flex, folks. Watch the wing end of the wing as he gathers speed, start to flex upwards. Where's this one going? Do we know where this one's going? So Phoenix, Arizona, she's bound for the west. So she'll do a full right-hand bank. Go on, girl.
Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I know we've got some 747 uh, pilots watching with us right now. Must be great to see yourself fly. Oh, look at this. Is it? What going out? Sweet. Ooh, ooh. Miguel van der Loos uh, tuning in from the Netherlands, Type 777 on approach. I think I might have missed that, um, uh, Miguel. Um, hopefully not. Maybe we'll get that. But if I miss your comments, folks, please uh, don't think I'm ignoring anybody. I never ignore comments. It's just that obviously I'm filming as well as reading all the comments out. Um, so um, sometimes it's a little bit crazy. Uh, Colin Bonham loving the roar of those RB211s. Yeah, nothing better, my old friend. Uh, but mind you, other than, of course, <laughs> the roar of um, the uh, Trent 7 uh, off of the 330 is also always a fantastic uh, engine note. And the CF6. And the Trent 9. Uh, Trent uh, 1000. And the, the uh, Trent 8. And the uh, G90 and the G115B, which is on the freighter, 777F freighter. Is this our uh, Thai 777 inbound? Possibly. Cindy Bryant, 380 is badass! Damn right. Elliot Reed, Air Belgium, 340 off to Cairo in the queue for departure. Okay, so that was Air Belgium's 340, 300 uh, on lease to British Airways. I think you'll find that's a BA, that should be a BA flight, I'd imagine. It's got a BA flight number, possibly. The old banger lining up from Sierra. Looks like they got some serious issues down there with that engine. Well, I wouldn't say serious, but uh, kind of head scratching, but head scratching going on. Just wait for that Thai 777 that somebody just called. See if we get her. Here she comes now. And indeed, there she is. Still on reverse. Mole tuning in from New Jersey. Good afternoon to you, Richard uh, Bushel. Um, you should come out to. Interesting. Let's just have a look at this. Charlotte. Is that Charlotte, North Carolina? Okay, well, Rich. Um, 
most definitely. We're, 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 we'll never say no to a show at an airport, let's put it that way. Um, obviously, it's quite important that we get a sh an airport that has a lot of um, heavy movements. Oh, hello. Here we go. Here's our moment. There's pushback for the Jambo Jet, folks. Kenya Airways Dreamliner. Alan McDermott, good afternoon. Stephen Archer, good afternoon. So, a new member, uh, welcome. New member, Sammy Sage, good afternoon. Mitchell. Andre, uh, good afternoon to you. Christopher Boyce, Kevin B, Keith Cornell, Louis Aviation, love the CF, CFM 56 on the 320. Yeah, uh, great. Um, I was lucky enough, uh, Louis, to be um, in amongst uh, oodles of a, uh, CFM 56 and uh, um, the um, CF6 as well as the IAE 2500 engines at GT Engines uh, yesterday. Put a little piece together for those guys. Hopefully going to be doing some stuff with them, specialists in uh, engine maintenance and um, servicing. Neil McCommissarch, uh, good afternoon to you. Harold Foster, tune it from, from the Charlotte area as well. Simon Webb. Richard Bonfield, Mick Price, Michael Cook. Um, good timing after a few Coronas and a barbecue. Uh, Sammy Sage, good afternoon. Paul Skilling, James O'Brien, Simon Webb, Tommy Ernst. Ah, all right. Okay, so that's the Korean. They pushed him right back. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Yeah. It pushed him out of view, basically. It's China Southern's uh, Dreamliner just um, out of shot there. It's just the old banger coming out now. Here we go. Doing, ding, dong. She'll have CF6s on her. Wow. Look at that. She's got nothing on board, man. That's gone up like, wow. Gone up like a 757. Going on up like a spirit in the sky. Very derated as well. Polystyrene on board. Three forty six inbound, probably Virgin or maybe even Iberia. I don't know which is which at the moment, but unable to see quite clearly. Do we know um, whether Richard's on the uh, left hand side of the aircraft, Jilly? Is he in a wing? Is he in a, uh, a window seat or uh, doing it out like that? Right, look at him. Well, yeah, but that might just be a, uh, you know. Mark Brown, good afternoon. Nick Burton. Scott Felton is watching from Tunbridge Wells. Uh, from Tunbridge or from Kent, wherever the LE is. Nice low, 767. United!
Those smoky engines, man. Anyway, come on, come on. Got to keep uh, keep keep focused on the main subject here, and he's gone. He's gone. You see, look how quickly they go, man. Now that's the Korean. Oh, it was Korean cargo. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't Korean packs. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Barry Moore, Etihad 380, was going to Paris. Now that's interesting. Daniel Fernie, Sammy Sage, uh, Sandy Humby, Jonathan Pyle, Mark Smith. Good afternoon, everybody watching right now on Big Jet TV. Was that? Yeah, he's, he must have, uh, they must have pushed him way, way back. Here he comes, here he comes. Now you may be wondering folks, uh, what's going on here then? If you just joined us. On board this Kenya Airways uh, Dreamliner uh, bound for Nairobi, he's a very good friend of ours, Richard. Now, he is um, the general manager of the Hilton Garden Inn here at Heathrow. And he is the man, obviously uh, linked with the management at the Hilton Garden Inn group, um, that is allowing us to bring you these fantastic images. Oh, come on, eh? So, big thank you to Richard. Kaylee Seymour, Mark Matthews. Um... Blimey. Is that another 346 inbound? No, it's not. It's a 380. Sorry. Sorry about that. Have they? Wouldn't surprise me. Wow! Uh, interesting, John Hughes saying US Air Force planning to keep the B 52 in service until 2050. How about that? They're taking bids from Rolls Royce G and Pratt and Whitney to replace the engines. The youngest B 52 will be 88 years old in 2050. My goodness me. That's, wow, that's crazy. But mind you, look at the Lancaster um, that's currently flying, you know. Um, BBMF Lank, probably built uh, around about the late 40s, I'd imagine. She was, she was actually built after the war. Didn't see any active service, the BBMF Lank. Um, so that will be around about the 70 year mark, I'd imagine. Summit black, that. Sandy Humby, yes, he's off to Nairobi for his holidays. Uh, Andrew Smith just subscribed to the page, love the videos. Thank you very much, Andrew. Welcome to you, my friend. Yvonne Phelan uh, has now moved to the kitchen uh, with the laptop. Bolognese is a go. Roger that. Bolognese is go. Abdul Sattar. Good afternoon to you. Uh, what's that GP uh, with the sign up? Mm. Wow, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> More announcements coming from the studios at Big Jet TV in the future, folks. Going to be doing a uh, monthly uh, get together with everybody, uh, news and chat, and general um, aviation chat. Uh, talk about what's coming up. Talk about current affairs, uh, deliveries, and so on and so forth. Like not uh, not Amazon deliveries, um, but aircraft deliveries. Um, Ian Robbins, good afternoon. Uh, Vincent uh, Heffernan. Um, uh, Vincent is from North Hans. Good afternoon to you, Vincent. Uh, Mark 
Mark uh, Scrivy. Good evening to you, Claire Thompson. Tuning in from Faversham in Kent. Lovely part of the world down there in Faversham in Kent. Uh, Tim Rogers, uh, JFK, New York. Good afternoon to you, Lance Dawson. Um, Ian Robbins, Joe Cameron and Ifred. Okay, Emirates uh, 380. Second uh, 2020 orange livery has just touched down. So we we uh, saw one. Wow, Air Belgium 43300 coming out now. Four CF M56 engines. Is that A343 headed? Is it, um, is it west? Okay, so she's going straight to Cairo. No turn, no deviation off of that flight path, I don't think. So, well, that's all we're going to get from her, unfortunately. Interesting to see, folks. Um, we won't see many more of those 343s now. A uh, little slight deviation to the right there, a little bank to the right. That's the same wing as the A340, uh, A330 as well. Air Canada's Dreamliner going out. Okay, I've got to keep an eye out for Richard because he's on Sierra right now. So if you're lucky enough to be down at, uh, there he is there. What's that GP? Got Aristana 757 behind him. Okay, Sean. Uh, Sean Mc. Sean McCulloch, uh, tuning in from California. New member. Good afternoon, Sean. Everyone giving uh, Sean a warm welcome. Nancy Ross Kennedy. Good afternoon, Michael K. Sherry Hellyer. Stevie Luscombe. Pat Ryan loves the studio shows. Only done a couple of them so far, but we'll be doing um, a monthly um, hour long studio show, um, which will just involve everybody, get everybody involved, talk about the uh, what's happened over the, over the month and what's coming up on the next month. So possibly I'd imagine it's gonna be the first of the month next month which is the first of all uh september that we're going to see the first um we're calling it spool up folks sean murphy good afternoon sambi humby zero night for a departure and zero line left for arrivals absolutely uh, that's always the way uh, unlike with 27 where they switch uh, runways on a regular basis one tuning in from Chile. Good afternoon, Terry O'Neill. Singapore 747 in 10 minutes. There we go. I did mention the Singapore um, 747 freighter uh, a while back. You can see that Korean 777. Uh, She's got a cargo door open now. Massive cargo door on those 777 freighters. Believe it or not, you can get the GE9X um, engine turbofan casing in the side of that engine, that, uh, in the side of that aircraft, which is quite lucky, really. Uh, otherwise, they would have had a few issues. Lufthansa testing that out on one of their triple seven freighters a while back. Yeah, that would be good. I'd imagine I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, 747 freighter does go rogue. Although I have to say, looking at the stack forming at the moment, I'd be. Let's just have a look here, see if I can pick it up, middle of the stack.
No, it's, uh, this one's still on, uh, still on finals. No, no gear down at this point. Okay, here's. Uh, let's not um, deviate from this because it looks like Richard is um, lining up for departures. He's uh, next one uh, headed out from Sierra. We've got the Ram lined up at the moment, and then possibly we'll see Richard lining up. Hopefully he's in a window seat. Give us a big wave if you're listening, Richard, because I know a lot of people do watch on their devices until they cut out. Um, Terry O'Neill's, thank you. Uh, Louis Dadar, tuning from um, Toronto. Vincent Hefern, um, first time I've seen 09 action. Uh, Vincent there, that's fantastic, mate. Well, welcome to the show. Uh, Juan um, Asalgo, Al uh, Asalgaldo, good afternoon. Callum Taylor, first time I've been on this live and already love it. Well, good for you, mate. And uh, again, a big shout out and a big thanks. Right on the right hand side of your screen there, folks, you can see the Hilton Garden Inn's logo. Um, we must uh, give thanks to those guys for giving us this access. It is uh, without those um, those guys, um, we wouldn't be able to bring you these shots. Now, this uh, Cafe Pacific 777 um, is lining up, but I do think that we should stick with Richard because it looks like he's just been given clearance to line up uh, for departure because he's moving now. Kilo Zulu Alpha is the reg on this aircraft if you're tracking it on flight radar, folks. Commonly known as the Jambo Jet. Five years old. I think it's an 800. Yes, indeed it is. So here we go. Safe travel, Richo, and uh, we will see you when you get back, me old son. Oh, look at that. That's quite rare. Look at that. Bimmons 787. Singapore uh, Mini Slinger 777. 
What is that, 747? Do we have that in... Uh, is it uh, is it coming in on the right or? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he is. Yeah, but they do adjust. They can adjust that far out, you know. I think um, as little as two miles out, they're able to adjust. But that's definitely lining up for uh, the left-hand runway. Mark Whitehouse. Lauren Hunt. Uh, Lauren Hunt, good afternoon. Tuning in from Wales. Good afternoon, Lauren. Uh, Michael van der El, how's it? Uh, tuning in from, no doubt, South Africa. Good afternoon. So around about this time, the Royal Brunei Dreamliner, and there it is on cue, going out. Uh, just taxiing out off over Sierra at the moment. Finnair's 3.30. Okay, we're just going to stick around for this jumbo jet. Because it is a beautiful sight. Let's face it, let's be honest. Thank you, my friend, uh, for uh, all the information. Keep coming back to the channel, Gary. Um, uh, giving us information is always um, valuable. Air India's uh, Dreamliner 8 just uh, arriving there. Um, yeah, we always uh, appreciate the, um, the info, um, even though we've got it right in front of us here on Flight Radar, folks. If you're into your apps, um, whether you are um, iOS or the other one, um, you can um, download Flight Radar 24 for free. Uh, it's got adverts on it for the free version, but to be honest with you, it's not that um, bad. Juan, I want some more takeoffs. Just wait for some. Uh, just waiting for some um, some decent stuff to come out, Juan. Be patient, my old son. Um, tell you what, that is pretty rare, isn't it? Is that a Royal Air Maroc Embraer? That's pretty rare, I have to say. Yeah. 
God, this is a long dreamliner, man. This is raw Brunei. Is that quite rare, that Embraer, that... Uh, wow, look how low and long this is. Low departure, man. Go on, son. <laughs> Miguel van der Luz. All right, James. Uh, yeah, Jill is watching the match, folks. <laughs> you can't help her. You can't help her. Okay. Nearly done. Nearly done, folks. It's not uh, a full scheduled show. Just want to get a good shot of this. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'd say best looking 747 in the skies at the moment. Um, just the delivery, it's just the livery that does it for me. Chris Ranking, yeah, don't have anything for the Queen Cargo. Gary Nutson. Mark Smith just loved the triple seven Bigfoot. Don't forget Rich Torb, our uh, very own member pilot, uh, American Airlines A330 pilot. He's the man that gave us that uh, Bigfoot um, nickname for the triple seven. And of course, uh, that can be matched with the A350 1000 with Herb. Try undercarriage. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a baby, right round, round, round. Oh, sorry, Chris. Say it back, Dad. Ah, uh, Sean Duna, Boax, the winner. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, I'm talking about current livery in terms of, like, you know, uh, but retros, most definitely Boac. Wins hands down. Yes, apologies, um, of course. But she's a beautiful-looking uh, old girl. Uh, and, of course, what is even more retro about her is the fact that she doesn't have the long, extended upper deck. Um purely because she's a freighter. So that is taken from the old 100 series, the original 100 series front end, which gives her even more of a, you know, retro look about her. Of course, the um, forward uh, cranked nose load, because she is a freighter, does look good. Go with me, guys, go with me. Pa Oat, good afternoon to you. Yes, Michael van der Al, um, I do also hope, I think, um, in terms of any opportunity for Rossi this year, it's got to be Silverstone. Got a great following. Um, of course, wherever he goes around the world, um, probably one of the most uh, popular racers out there. And at his age, it is, um, you've got to heart respect him massively. Um, and a great guy as well. So good with everybody, good for PR. Naomi! Philip Henham. Beautiful slinger. Yeah, 
she needs is a lovely old set of Pratt & Whitney's on her and then she'd be the full set proper retro chair. Stevie Wilson, good afternoon. RH James sounds like Doc just drove past. <laughs> Martin Langram, good afternoon. Everybody watching right now, just about to finish the show, just tracking this 747 uh, across the runway and then I'm going to be headed back um, and I will, of course, be back tomorrow afternoon. 20 minute free view, uh, followed by an all two hour minimum Big Jet TV members only show. I think this is the Bimmon Dreamliner going out right now. 747 staying where it is. Oh, did you? Oh. tomorrow's show is a completely different perspective folks uh, especially if the weather continues as is predicted so we will be stationing ourselves um, in a familiar spot where a lot of people know um, at the Renaissance Hotel uh, shouldn't be really mentioning the Renaissance Hotel when I'm standing on the Hilton Garden Inn but there you go I'm sure everybody understands um, give the love and share the love give a little love Share a little love. Do 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 do. Anyway, um, yeah. So um, we will um, be watching the aircraft uh, touch down. I'm just having a just having a little look at that 747. Make sure she ain't moving. Shut it. Kitty old boy. Hey, the Italian. Hey, mama. Spool down on that triple. Wow, look, he's leveled out already. Listen that. Hey, that's a bit of a crazy one. He's gone up and he's leveled right out. It's not a test flight, is it? Is that a test flight? Is that a test flight, is it? It's Cardiff, is it? That's why he's so light. Okay. Hey, Mamma Mia! You watch you on the uh, Shut Up of your Facebook. If you're an Italian. <laughs> All right, it's James. Close up with Boab. Look at that. What a great shot. Great shot. Mark Smith's going to spend his shift watching catch up shows. Brilliant.
non-stop aviation action heavies at London Heathrow. There's the Ethiopian 350 just landed. And don't forget, folks, these are the very views that you get from the seventh floor if you stay here at the Hilton Garden Inn. And, of course, you get 20% discount on room rates if you're a channel member on Big Jet TV. gonna follow it all the way over you make them a heart burn you make them a heart burn okay <laughs> you break them a heart you break them a heart Ain't she a beauty? Ain't she a beauty? Come on. Stand by. Yeah, someone's saying maintenance. More than likely that uh, 777 will be headed to the maintenance facility at Cardiff, British Airways. Uh, that will be very possibly, um, because I know that they do um, A and B checks down uh, at Cardiff. Um, most of the on-wing repairs or any on-wing maintenance, uh, minor uh, technicalities will be dealt with here at London Heathrow. Um, however, the C, A, B and C checks will be carried out down at Cardiff, uh, their main maintenance sheds. Because obviously those checks, especially the C checks, take a significant amount of time. Okay. GP, you ready? Stand by. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Just get that shot there. Okay, so it's going to be, um... Hey! What are you doing? You're breaking my heart. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chili. Why, you little... You there, GP? Okay. Right, folks. Uh, that's your lot. Uh, God bless you, blimey, O'Reilly. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate your company. Um... <clears throat> I am going to be live again tomorrow. Um, we're not absolutely sure on time yet, are we, Jilly? Or have we decided now on what time we're going to be on? Uh, it'll be in the afternoon, late afternoon, so keep your notifications open. Folks, if you're watching on Freeview right now, which you are, of course, make sure you go to Big Jet TV Freeview on YouTube um, and make sure you turn your notifications on because you're aviation fan you do not want to miss some of the stuff that we've got coming up for you and of course for our channel members um yeah really love to have your company uh safe
journey to Richard, of course, and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow uh, for Zero Nine Arrivals. Um, quite a different um, perspective of aircraft that we get to see there from the other side of Chit Runway. Um, so look after yourself, be good to the animals, uh, be good to yourselves, drink responsibly. Uh, if you're having a barbecue, don't burn the sausages. And um, yeah, other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Look after yourselves, folks. Thanks a lot. I'm Jerry Dyer, Big Jet TV. See you later. Bye. Stand by, let me give a. I say, ooh, ah, can This is good, this is good. 3-0? <laughs> oh my god. Who are they playing? Flipping like Lindfield United or something? No! Are they really? <laughs> oh dear, oh dearie me. <coughs> Arsenal! Sorry. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is it at home? Is it is it Larpool? Is it Larpool? Okay. <laughs> TV.